All right. So I got a unit change out. I'm, I'm going to do a go. I'm, I'm not going to record much today, I don't think. Maybe more like a blog style video. I know a lot of people don't talk about money, but I am going to see if I can profit about 10000 I'm going to try to do two condensing EVAP change out today. Like I said, one of them is not even scheduled for today. It's scheduled for later in the week. I'm just going to see how today goes and how I feel after the first install. But this one here is a uh, two and a half ton run true. And it is an ADP coil, this two and a half coil, two and a half ton coil. This one here, which I'm going to do first, is a three ton plenum coil. It's an all style. It's an all style coil. And uh, it's a Weather King condenser unit. I'm going to do this one first. And uh, just see how I feel. I'm supposed to be getting thunderstorms in the area. So, I think the high, high today is like 80 something. So, it shouldn't be too bad in the attic. So, even if it do, does rain, if I can do most of the work in the attic and get the condenser out there done, I can be, you know, in a cool attic and not very hot. So, that's why I'm thinking I may be able to do two. Uh, if it's too hot, I, I will only just do one. And that uh, two and a half ton, it's, it's an upflow. So. But I'm gonna throw this, throw this plenum coil on the truck. It's about 6:30 in the morning. Let's see exactly. It's 6:45, so I should probably get there maybe about 7:30 or 8 o'clock and get started. And uh, we'll see how it go. And uh, like I said, it'd be about a ten thousand dollar profit if I can complete both. And uh, then depending on how I feel, I may run a couple service cars. We're gonna grind this. This is uh. 4th of July weekend, but we still grind. All right, so this is the unit that I will be replacing. Old York has a leak in the evaporator coil. R22. I'm gonna go ahead and recover. Got a power outlet right by the unit. So this is the air handler unit. So I just only have three ducks I gotta take off. Get this flute pipe out the way. All right, we got this one set. Fit, uh, I already got my uh, evaporator coil in the attic. I got this one set. I already flushed this one. R R11, RX11. Go ahead and put a sight glass on here. I'm using a piston, but maybe in the future we might go with TXV. I'm gonna put a sight glass. I always put sight glasses on my my units. If it's a COD custom, if it's a warranty. I don't usually go with a sight glass. But uh that's kind of like my trademark. Got the old one out. Get ready to braise. Braise that in. And uh we should be good to go. This the R RX11 I use. Every time I convert a unit, I, I notice I don't be showing a lot, but I've been using that drum for years. But uh that's what I flush my system out with. And uh say three times. Okay. <laughs> I got me some knee pads. I just rarely use them. I need to start using them. 
All right, my man. Okay, cool. All right. So I'm gonna get this uh, buddy bought me some knee pad. Yeah, more of a, I don't know about pads. More of a prevent grass thing. All right, let me get the tide in. All right. So I think this morning I told you I'm doing a run true and I'm doing a weather king. I'm more of a run true by train guy, but uh, the day before they had some two and a half and three tons, and I got me a two and a half. I should have went on and got the three ton when I had the opportunity. Cause the next day I called in, train didn't have any two and a half or three ton run true or regular train unit. Uh, so I can't. Purchased 16 seal and up from them anyway, but they didn't have any uh, 14 seal, two and a half or three ton. So I had to go to Century and get a Weather King, uh, which is fine. This is my second one of these I have installed, so let's see how it works. Yeah, I seen it. Got some brown, some nice cold lemonade. Yeah, it look good. What kind of cake is it? Oh, she huh? made it. Homemade, huh? Yes. Okay. So it look good. Okay. No, I, I get it a little later, okay? Okay. Okay, I definitely get it before I leave. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to get too full while I'm up there in that attic. All right. You just, you, if you need the help, just mm -hmm. let me know. So you retired? Yes. Yeah. What kind of work you did? I used to be pilot. Oh, for, wow. Flying, huh? Yes. Oh, man. Commercial? First Air Force and then commercial. Oh, okay. Yeah. I graduated in Laughlin Air Force Base. Mm-hmm. 1980. Oh, wow. I guess you didn't born. <laughs> no, nah, that's actually a couple of years before I was born. Yeah, I just, I just got off a plane this week. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I like to fly. Yeah, I was fighter pilot before. Oh, okay. And after that, cargo pilot. Mm -hmm. And after that, commercial. Oh, wow. You miss it? Sometimes when I miss it, I go to and fly the single engine. Yeah. Do, do you? Yes. Oh yeah. Yes, because you know you you when you fly, mm -hmm. you miss it. Oh wow. So where you fly the single engine there? What 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 they uh, rent them out or? No, Cessna 172. Huh? Cessna 172. What's that? That's the aircraft. Uh, okay. The, name, the brand is Cessna, mm -hmm. and the number is 172. That's the, you know, that's the mm. simple aircraft. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did your wife get up there with you? No, never. <laughs> Before, yes. Uh -huh. With the cargo, mm -hmm. or with the passenger, mm -hmm. yes. But with the single, no, she, she has to. She don't, she don't do the single, huh? No. <laughs> Measure twice, cut once.
That's the one way gas, right? Hmm? This one is the one way. One way? Yeah. Yeah, it's going that way. That's why the arrow. Yeah. I always point your arrow towards your yeah. yes. expansion valve or your evaporator. All right. Use some of your water. Let me open it. Okay. Lemonade, no, it's good. All right, it's good. Is it good? Yeah. Oh. Yep, you turn it off. Yep, thank you. Oh. Mm. All right, let's get a little bit more to go. So I got the unit back up and running and it's 1 p.m. And uh, that's it for me for the day. Honestly, I probably could take a rest and go knock that other little two ton out because it's, like, it's an upflow unit. Probably easy install, slide the coil in and out. I think I'm gonna use the box on that other coil too, but hey. Yeah. Oh, I'm in this hot attic. Hey, it's over with. That's it for me today. I'm done. Like I say, my guy gave me some good watermelon. So anyway, all I gotta do now is though, uh, glue that pipe. I'm out of here. And it's about to thunderstorm out there. So it slowed me down. This drain line right here. With, uh, I had to cut, cut the uh, wood. This little wood ain't holding nothing but the unit. And it's still braced up, so that one hurt. Man. Yeah, I gave him some watermelon. Man, good and cold too. Sweet. Mm -mm. That's a wrap up. Mm-hmm. Got to take Take the insulation on his suction line. Add me a little piece on that suction line insulation. Take that uh, PVC. I don't know why they use insulation that thick. Like I said, I had to cut that flow board up a little bit. A little standing platform. All right, see, everything looking good. Bike line clear. Oh, 
All right. Ain't that rain coming now, ain't it? Yeah, I think it's heading this way. Yeah, let's hear thunder. Might have finished just in time. All right, these back people. It's a wrap for me. All right. So I just finished that install. I'm not going to do that other install, but I am going to run the troubleshoot call. They say it's warm up in here. You know, it's going warm there. I don't feel that compressor running out there. And the rain has come, so. Take it to the cool. The rain has made it. Man, I went on and just took my shoes off. I don't feel like getting no booty. It's just Saturday. I just walked. This is something simple. What is it? I don't know yet. I gotta take a look at the condenser unit out there. So sometimes you try to gotta be nice, no matter. To all your customers, cause I get an attitude with them quick. That's why I did been, been in the attic for a few hours. And he ended up talking about his old house. Anyway, he a renter and a landlord was just saying the same thing that he was just saying. Talking about some pressures. Landlord, I don't know what it is. Just, I gotta add some refrigerant. They love, they just add some refrigerant. Like it's the same problem every time. I ain't trying to get wet out here. It is thunder and lightning too, so I gotta be careful. Landlord, I say he's gonna meet me out here. Guess he's gonna help me troubleshoot it. I got a river. Yeah, I was literally up in the attic five seconds. I was in the house five seconds. I don't want to have it up. Do I got it? Do I got to figure it out yet? I ain't that good. Yeah, I got to put the boots in back here. I 
blowing a cool ass up. Yeah, that just hope it's a capacitor. I don't think they can press it doing nothing. Yeah, Plenty of refrigerant. Let's hope they got a bag of press. I mean, a basket. All right, pause this. All right, so yeah, we just spoke with the uh, owner, and he said, oh, it's probably just a capacitor, then I showed him what was going on. And he said, no, nah, usually it's just capacitor, and uh, I bought several, I just come out here and change it up. Look, that one, that one burnt there. But I'm telling you what's happening, when they homeowner, when they do it, Oh, homeowner, I'm going to tell you, because I don't want to speculate and tell you what happened, but you got to make sure you got tight connections, too. Because that technician, we're going to make sure these connections are tight also. A loose connection, you know, probably could cause something like this to happen, but. All right, but I'm going to get this changed out. All right, so I'm about halfway done with the cap. This was a 70 by 5. Like I say, it's the weekend, so I'm just making do. I do have turbo capacitor, but like I say, if I gotta, if I can make do with regular capacitor, I just use these and use my turbos for emergency. So anyway, this is a 60 by uh, five right here and a 10. So I got my common on this common on this uh, capacitor and. I got the herm on here. So as you see this herm here is burnt up. I'm gonna clean this up and stick it on the herm on that capacitor. And then the fan, the fan just go right here. Like, that's a good connection right there. So we'll just put new spades on, on that herm. Alright, so I got everything hooked up. That looks pretty bad, that one. Alright, so thermostat is not calling for. I'm going to go ahead and uh, wanna make sure all these connections are tight too. That look pretty snug. Then I'm just going to uh, bump it. Once I... Uh, Power on. Let's see if it start up. Yeah, yeah, so it'll start up. So I am going to uh, get the home on to turn it on for me.
rabbit. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Let's take off. All right, anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I just did a complete install today. I ain't reached my target goal, but made a couple more dials. I was just hoping this was a capacitor, but turned it to a little bit more uh, capacitor, hard start kit, and uh, repairing the electrical wire. Took me a little longer, but uh, can't complain. Made a few more dollars, so. What he got? What's this going on right here? That's a low voltage. Hmm. I've seen worse. So. Yeah, I don't think I'm checking no press. I think they're good on the press. little oil on here. I don't know if it's still good or not, but I doubt it. I didn't check it. I mean, that's the main culprit right there. Loose wire probably did that. Alright, I'm out. Rain here to stay. I wouldn't have been able to do this good two of them anyway. But we got one installed in the uh, service car today. It looked like the rain here to stay for a while. So all you can do is all you can do.